So here we are with part two of my Jane journal. Um, as I said in part one, a lot of the ideas I've got from um, uh, watching lots and lots of videos. So if you want to know who I follow, because I don't know how to put a link up to places, then um, what you can do is go to my page and look at, at who I follow. So this is a beautiful image from Pinterest. Um, and I've had them photocopied onto gloss paper. And here's another little notebook with lined paper and some vellum in it. <clears throat> and then this side is another pocket. Um, it's got a bit of lace on it. That This is thick cotton lace that I actually sprayed. Um, and, it, and it's a different colour on this side which goes with those sort of shades. Uh, there's a little notebook I made out of some of the writing paper just held together with with ribbon it is actually glued there because it kept slipping around um, this paper I actually found in a magazine which was rather a good find these little cards again are from a download um, and I've just tucked them under this ribbon here I can get it in because they kept falling out of the pocket which was a bit annoying so that goes in there that's held down with a magnet and over this side we've got another downloaded page and she's got a beautiful dress on with sort of these colors in it if you look so this is a uh, bias binding and that's ribbon stuck on the top a couple of those little metal things from eBay um, this is some antique ribbon and it's actually got beautiful sequins on it which sparkle now if you're watching this and you did this you'll realize I copied your idea so the top wings are uh, lifted up with the 3d tape and the bottom wing here is just stuck down so that this is a makes a little butterfly pocket and she looks rather sweet in it these butterflies again I found in a magazine uh, little stickers um, which were good find. Same magazine as the other one that I showed you. This page here, because she's got the grey on, I put this ribbon on, which again has got a sparkle in it. Um, these are little feathers, and underneath it there's a little bit of uh, veiling, actually from an uh, antique hat, and underneath that one too. The flowers, this is a bit of lace that I had left over from another project that was sprayed. And the little flowers on the top again here's a triple pocket with this side's got the the tags in that didn't didn't work the colors didn't work out but it's very pretty I like it that color um, a bit of antique lace on the top of them then they pop open like this and behind them, these little strip downloads were on one of the pages. And I thought, what do I do with those? And then I found that they fitted in the little pocket quite nicely. They're rather pretty. So I'll just write a little quote on the back of those. Some more drawing paper. Another envelope with this lovely ribbon around it that's got little rosettes on it. Um, it's all it's all gans in between the rosettes. Um, oh, this this was a bit of uh, backing paper, and this is an image from Pinterest. Uh, another beautiful image from Pinterest, and inside we've got lovely ladies and bonnets. Again, these are stickers that I found somewhere, and it's held with a magnet. This side here is one of the pages that I've made a top pocket in and because it's only on copy paper I, I strengthened it with a strip of paper underneath this and then put this on the top of it. Um, this is a beautiful embroidered uh, rose and sort of a daisy thing there um, and then found these lovely tags online again that actually go very well with that with those images on that page. A bit of bling in the corner. Um, this one, I again, I saw somebody do it with a seal on the top. This is attached to the to this page, 
So this is a magnet, so you can lift it up and write on it. And it's got the vellum and the lined, the lined paper. So this is there. You can see where I've covered up that Tyvek envelope, which I use for the spine with this nice ribbon, so it doesn't glare white there. A large tag again, downloaded images from Pinterest. Lovely little tag. One of those little metal things from eBay with a, one of these little pom poms stuck on top of it, and that braid again. And some, this is a strip that on the 12 by 12 paper, some of the strips are really pretty, so I save them. And that's actually covering up the magnet that's on the other side, it's just there. More writing paper. This one I think is my favourite page from the download. Um, this braid around here is just amazing. I have tons of it, so I can dye it and use it on all sorts of projects. Up in the corner here, there's um, a cabochon with a lady in it. So this is the next pocket, great big. I don't know whether I resized that or not, or whether it came that size. And the pocket's antique lace. And this ribbon's got a glitter on it. And again, it's got some lovely images, which I've just put on pink paper to go with the pink here. This has actually got pink ribbon underneath it as well, because it's a see-through ribbon and I didn't want it just plain white. Another triple pocket is again these lovely little cards. Gorgeous images on the back and then on the front of it again those freebie downloads of tags. Oopsie doopsie. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I found that I couldn't get it in, so I've made the front of the pocket smaller than the back. Um, more drawing paper. This one, because the lady was in a blue dress, I've done it all blue, with blue organza ribbon, some sort of, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know whether you call it eyelash. Oh, well, there you go. You can see what it is on <laughs> my finger. Um, and the flower on it. And over the page here, because there's this very orangey looking page, I put this lace on it with orange ribbon in it. Nice flower with some of the lace behind it. Some more drawing paper. Another, the back of that triple pocket. Beautiful image. And some more from Pinterest. And this is just the paper and a cutout again. Oh. The other big lady should be there. I'll have to find her. God knows where she is. She's probably under a telephone book being pressed. And again, some of the lovely images from the internet from Pinterest or downloads. I'm sure people who, who make these journals know exactly where the downloads come from. But I'm not that familiar yet because this is the first journal I've made. So here's a bit more bling. Peacock, nice little heart, and um, it's not really a doily, but they came in a packet like that, and I painted it gold, which is quite pretty. Some more writing paper, uh, a, a sort of a belly band side pocket with this beautiful image in it. This is braid that's on the top of this. Um, again, that sort of puffy braid and a couple of bits of it on the corner. A little notebook that I can draw or write in and a postcard to write on. A little bit of bling because there's a little heart there. I like her on the top because so, I like looking at her image. And there's the back page which again is that, hmm, is that magnetised ribbon with the little notebook. It's just on a 12 by 12 paper and that's a 12 by 12 paper that I might put another image there and there's the ribbon to cover up that oh you can see that white tie back envelope there it's just to cover that up and cover the join up and that's where I did the ribbon so there you go hope you enjoyed 
watching those two videos and I'll see you with my next one. As I say, this is my first journal, but I have made another one since for my granddaughter with leftovers from this. So I'll put a video of that up too. Bye.